he's going to have to be concerned with Casal's pole step moves. There's a wiggle on a step back jumper, rims in. And Gasol, who averages over 18 a game. Gasol, here's a three. Wow, comfortable, Ron, comfortable stroke from way on Slayer. But Booner, that 40th birthday is coming up January 26th. That's amazing, 19th year in the league. And he's playing 27 minutes a game. Amazing. What a talent. What a talent. Working very, very hard on is, is defending and, and trying to make sure everyone's on the same page. Oh, how about that hook shot? Caught the rim and in. Nine points start for 7 11. Love to play in the first half. Max got Parsons. Gasol toes another three and looks good. I'll tell you, I like the spin. It was a great release. He's 12 point half. This is basically Ron, his home opener. Started his comeback with five straight on the road. Bodies up against Gasol. Score. How about Scores. that elbow in the chest there? And he stands back baseline. Crucial fourth quarter in Miami. Yeah, he really did. And that's the beauty of this team. Utah continues to fight, and Gasol continues to burn up the nets for the 16-point first. 12 minutes, Boner, 16 points. Who wouldn't take that line? No, Seven that, of nine from the floor. Absolutely. You're looking at a guy who averaged 16, 46% from the field and seven rebounds. You can see he uses that big body, lowers the shoulder. He can play the post up. He leads the league and touches him at, at, at the post. But this is where he's been so dangerous this year is that from the three-point line, and already in this ball game tonight, he has two threes leading the way with 16. You know, Brian, I, I mentioned earlier this play. I mean, just something to, to, to get them going. Here. Don't forget, they've got 19,000 fans here that can help them out as well. Gasol, short arms, that three-pointer, but the Jazz un unable to go after the rebound. Back to Gasol. This time, a flick of the wrist, counted and one free throw coming. You know, you know that pocket pass is coming, and one thing that they've talked about many, many times in practice is when that pocket watch, you, you just got to get the hand low to try to, to stop the pass. And you see Dante, who plays very good defense, just didn't have his hands down toward the floor. And solid from, start, from the start. Well, they don't have a rim protector, so if Joe can do that, Bear the foul is fourth. Joe Ingles, though, getting it done. He's got steals, assists, and buckets. He's doing it all. Yeah, he's doing it all, and all of a sudden, Joe Ingles comes up with the basketball. He puts the ball on the floor, and then he catches Lyles coming down the middle of the floor. Pump fake gets the Saul back paddling, gets all the way to the basket. And the Jazz have not been able to crack the lead here. The Jazz have not won on the road. 0-3. They lost at New York, Minnesota, and Milwaukee. Ball is loose, picked up. Ingles fires a pass. Hayward to the rack. Jazz win by committee. It's a team theme. And Boris put his hand, his head, into Gasol, and Gasol pushes him away, and Gasol picks up the offensive foul. You know, he does that quite a bit. That's how Rudy got hit in the face in that first quarter. It's Conley so far with just a three-point shot here in the second half. Oh, big offensive rebound. Another possession. Compliments of Jamichael Green. Now you can see he hit. Offensive rebounds. That tells the story. They go to Gasol. Diaw tries to push him out. They are banging inside. The bucket goes, and one free throw to come. Well, this is a tough job here for Trey. This guy, he leads the league in post-up plays. Look at that the shoulder he puts into that. I mean, this is, oh, this is on Dia. Now, Dia the foul. Good win of this young season. Conley goes to work against Dia, dumps it up, and it's off the mark. We got a push. My goodness. A push in the back. Show them that. 